In this training course, we'll give an introduction to T-Navigator Parallel Interactive Hyperdynamic Simulator. How to use T-Navigator tutorial contains an information how to open and run your model. We will analyze 2D and 3D maps, graphs for groups, wells, and connections. Now, we can see T-Navigator main window. In one graphical interface, we can open existing hydrodynamic model, work with assisted history matching, or build a new model from scratch in Model Designer. T-Navigator uses automatically for model calculation all computer cores, but we can set the number in the drop-down menu if we want to. Then, press File Open to open your model. E100 format is opened for default. To select another format, use Open As. Switch between E100, E300, IMEX, STARS, and more model format types. We see model loading process on the screen. T-Navigator has optional panel on the left, visualization panel on the right, and a log panel on the bottom. Model files are available from Files menu on the top. Included files and log files that contains all the information about model loading and calculations. Press at any file to open it in the text editor. The general information about the model is in the Definitions tab. Models dimensions, amount of active grid blocks, and number of wells. To see the model, we go to Maps tab. On the top switch between 2D view, 3D, or histogram. Hold left mouse button to rotate the image. Hold right button to move it. And scroll mouse wheel to scale. Move time slider on the top to see field development history. Wells appear at the time step when they are drilled. To see model properties, go to Initial Maps. We have Porosity, Permeability, and so on. At Calculated Properties, we have Pressure and Phase Saturations. Go to Resources to see Oil in Place, Mobile Oil in Place, and Gas in Place. In Regions tab, you can analyze PVT, Saturation, equilibrium regions, and other. T-Navigator has very powerful user arithmetic. Now, let's calculate mobile mass oil in place in two top layers of our reservoir. We go to Resources, Mobile Oil in Place Mass. Press Map Statistics button on the right panel. Entries is a number of active grid blocks, and as some, we can see mass oil in place for our field. Now, let's select the top layers of our field. Go to User Cut and open the calculator to add a formula in Map Arithmetic command line. I type K less than 30 to select top 29 layers of my field. Press Enter to apply. Now, the layers that we are interested in are selected with red color, blue color, other layers. Check Use Cut to visualize only selected layers. Then for all maps, we will see only selected layers. Now let's go back to Mobile Oil in Place Mass. Statistics now is calculated only for these blocks. And if we uncheck Use Cut, statistics will be back for all grid blocks. Now let's work with T-Navigator Palette. Hold left mouse button to move colors borders up and down. Do right mouse click to see all options. Add a new color if you want. And you can always get back to default view by selecting saved palette, default 5 color palette. Set discrete palette to have one color for a range of map values. Or standard continuous palette. 
Now let's run model simulation by pressing the red button on the top menu. Switch to calculated maps to analyze in dynamics pressure and saturation distribution. You can easily stop calculations by pressing blue square on the top, or even close or reload your model. Calculation results are saved automatically. The period is underlined with a red line. Move time slider to the last calculated step and continue simulation. Open Computer Resources Monitor to see that all cores are involved 100%. Press at any grid block to see parameter value in it below. Or do right click to select Block Statistics. Values of all initial and calculated parameters for this block in Dynamics. Now we can create any number of model view by pressing Create New View button. A new window can be moved to the second screen if we have it. For example, there we can analyze properties. Relative permeability curves for oil and gas, PVT data and equilibrium for different regions. In other window, we can go to Graph tab. We start with Rates. Deselect all by pressing red cross on the bottom. Then check parameters you need. Oil rate, historical oil rate, water rate, and historical water rate. Graphs are available for groups, filled, and for wells as well. Press a triangle to open well list and switch between wells. Open the list of wells connections and see the graph for each connection. The same we can do for totals to see oil, water, gas total for wells and groups. In Pressure tab, we can analyze field average pressure and bottom hole and tubing head pressure for wells. All tables can be easily copied to Microsoft Excel. Press on the top left corner on the table to select it. Do Copy, then Paste to Excel. Now, let's make vertical cross-section of the model. Press Create a Cross-Section button. Then, do a mouse click on the model to see the plane. Now, you can move and rotate this plane by the corners. To see this cross-section, switch to 2D Map. In the drop-down menu, we can see 2D Maps, Roof, Layer, Sum, Average, Cross-Section is the last one. Move the time slider to playback results. Now I select Average Type. 2D Map can be colored by grid blocks. Or by contour lines. Press Settings to edit its properties. Enjoy working with T-Navigator and see other training tutorials for more details. Thank you for your attention.